Hello guys, hope you all are doing well. In today's session, we will see how we uh, we can uh, uh, factory default Palo Alto firewall. Okay, so there might be uh, situations like wherein we, uh, we may need to factory default the firewall. Um, so in this case, uh, uh, it would be useful for us. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Um, let me log into uh, firewall. Yeah, so before we uh, factory default firewall, I would always recommend taking all the necessary backups, you know. So usually the backups that I take, uh, I, I'll show you. But if required, you can uh, take uh, more uh, backups as per required. So the first one is uh, we'll go to device setup operations there under save there is a save name config snapshot we'll take a backup of this one and we'll name it as uh, today's date is 7 12 2021 and click ok so the config gets saved then we have to export the config and go to export name config select the file click ok so the config file gets saved actually okay uh, this is one config uh, that config backup that we need to do. second is we can take a backup of complete device state that we can do using export and export device state so you have to click on export device state and it will uh, take a backup of complete that device state okay so these are the two backups uh, which I think uh, we should always take first one is save name config and then export the name config snapshot and export device state okay so once we have this backup uh, let's log into CLI always make sure when you are doing this kind of activities you have a console access to firewall you know although I am showing this on a VM level so the first command that you need to run is debug system maintenance maintenance mode right it will ask you that this command will disconnect all session and place into a maintenance row do you want to continue so i press yes now the firewall is rebooting It's stopping all his services. Basically, now the firewall will boot into the maintenance mode. Okay, we got this problem. We need to press the key. Now it's starting to boot in the maintenance mode.
it is automatically doing a root automatic login okay so now as we got this prompt uh, we get the option of what exactly task we want to do here so in this case as you want to do the factory reset you have to select that and press enter then in this you have to scroll down and select the option of factory reset it will reboot the box and it will come up as a uh, complete fresh box you know okay now we got the status saying that factory reset status is complete you can select to reboot the firewall now is stopping the services again and going to reboot and come back up okay now we can see that the <coughs> firewall has booted up and this is what the IP I got 192 192.168.38.134 it's 48.134 okay so it has now came up with all the default settings so basically it will ask us to you know change the password at the first logon so uh, first it will ask us to enter default credentials which is admin admin then once you enter that admin admin is now asking us to change the password so that you have to enter your own password here okay so now this firewall is like a fresh uh, firewall you can if required import the uh, device state uh, maybe that we will look in another you know uh, sec uh, another video you know so let's recap this uh, so basically these are the steps that we need to do to you know default the firewall first take all required backup if required make sure you have all required screenshot take whatever is required you know then next thing is always doing this kind of activities make sure you have console access okay then the first command that we need to run is debug software maintenance mode this will reboot the firewall into the maintenance mode now once the firewall comes into maintenance mode select the option to do a factory reset right once you select that option it will again ask for a reboot now once the reboot is completed it will ask you to enter the default credential first and your firewall would be ready okay okay guys thank you for watching my videos if you like my videos please do subscribe and share it gives me motivation to create more videos. 
Thanks for your time. You have a good day. Bye.